Right back. <laughs> Time now for our biggest guest ever, and here to grill him is super fan Jack. Come on, let's see you for Jack. <laughs> Jack, you're a big fan, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. definitely. Are you excited? Oh, yeah, I I'm can't a... wait. Should we give him a proper introduction? Yeah. yeah. Go on, then, kid. It's all yours. Rocking in at six foot six and weighing only 300 pounds, he's one of WWE's biggest ever superstars. He's been the world champion four times, and he's here over here in the UK taking part in the WWE Raw Survivor Series Tour. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the one and only Batista. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. <clears throat> How's the tour going? Are you enjoying yourself? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's a bit grueling, but yeah, yeah. it's been fun. Yeah. Now look, how much training, Jack, do you think it would take me to get a body like this? <laughs> you could put my two legs together and they wouldn't make his arm. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> do you work, I mean, how many days, is it six days, seven days a week you work out? Um, with weights, probably about three days a week. Oh, three days a yeah, week? Yeah. I do other types of training, though. Yeah, yeah. 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 I could do it 24-7, yeah. mate. Nothing, believe you. I've been doing it for 25 years. So, yeah. Can I ask you something? Does be, going into the ring in a bad mood make you a better wrestler? I'm usually in a good mood, actually. Oh, yeah? yeah. I'd hate to get on the wrong side here, but... Oh, yeah. <laughs> you should have mood. you as the producer on this show. You wouldn't get a peep out of me. Go... <laughs> yes, sir. No, sir. Yeah. Look, we've got a clip of you in action. Let's see it, bear, please. Sweet mood, that there you go. I just want to say, kids, remember, this gentleman is a trained professional, so please don't try any of that at home. Now, it's a, it, <laughs> I will when I get home tonight. Really it. It's now over to our ace reporter, Jack. You ready, Jack? Yeah, Hello. good lad, then. The seat's yours. Go on. What's your favourite move? Oh, the Batista bomb. Usually, it's my finished move. Uh, usually, you know, a lot of people kicking out of, out of the Batista bomb, and it's usually over after that, so... Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Is it better to be a good guy or a bad guy? Oh, <laughs> it's, you know, there's a lot of perks that go with being a good guy. Um, but, uh, you know, being bad is fun sometimes. I was just going to say, yeah. the bad guys are more fun. Sure, it's fun. Yeah, yeah. you sort of root for the bad guys, Jack. Yeah. Sometimes. How, how many bones have you broken? Because, I mean, I've broken 49 since right. I was born, so it's going to be pretty hard for you to beat me. So. Yeah. 49? Yeah. yeah. So how many have you broken? I've actually not, never broken a bone. Yeah, I've had uh, some tendon tears, some muscle tears, uh, a lot of surgeries, but never actually a broken bone. And um, what has been your most favorite moment in your wrestling career? Um, I've, I've been lucky enough to have a lot of highlights, but I think the uh, first time I won the World Heavyweight Championship, yeah, 2005, WrestleMania 21. Is it true that you're a collector of lunchbox? I mean, isn't that a bit wussy? <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll leave I think, now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think, you know, for, for some men who weren't comfortable with their masculinity, it might be a little wussy-ish. But no, I'm, uh, I'm very secure and I do collect lunchboxes. <laughs> I think we might have one for you. <laughs> if not, we'll find you. Yeah, there actually was. There was one waiting for me backstage. I was very happy to see that. Oh, is that? Yeah, Brilliant. Yeah. Can you give me a few points on my trash talk? Um, <laughs> I'm actually really bad at trash talking, so I do, <laughs> I do uh, most of my trash talking, to, you know, physically. Uh, but I, you know, I think the guys who are, who are the best trash talkers, guys like like The Rock and yeah. you know, guys like Ric Flair, I, th I think they're just very charismatic. They're very witty, very off the cuff, very energetic, and they're you know sometimes they throw out insults, but they're you know humorous insults, yeah. not anything too personal. Yeah. But uh, you know, I think that a, a good sense of humor makes you a good trash talker, I, I believe. 
You know, this guy's a huge fan of yours. Yeah, yeah, yeah we were yeah. talking. I mean, yeah. look, look, the makeup, yeah, the loves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we've been talking. <laughs> have you enjoyed yourself, Jack? Yeah, have it's been you? brilliant. Yeah, yeah. You've been, yeah, you're gonna. So you're, you're gonna go and see this man fight? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna I get some tickets and I'm gonna go watch him. Good on you, kid. Ladies and gentlemen, please. <laughs> Good luck on the tour, Thank by the way. Thanks Thank for coming much. on this show. Please put your hands together for Jack and, of course, the man himself. Jack Pista, come on, let's hear you. Have a good time. Yeah, it's been yeah. Thanks for that. Well, that's it for tonight. It's just time for our Nodding Buster Tombola. Who's doing the Tombola? Yeah. Oh. Easy, latest opponents. This is it. <laughs> Adrian. <laughs> You're terrifying in that outfit, seriously. <laughs> I wouldn't want to wake up and find you at my window. <laughs> and if you got, we've got Sylvia Anderson in France. Really? <laughs> Jack, Alison Davis. Hey, Alison Davis. Well, look, that's it for tonight. It's all gone too quickly. A big thank you to my guests. To Dame Cleo Lane. <laughs> to Sir John Dankwa. <laughs> to Mr Jack D. To Batista. And of course, Jack. Tomorrow I'll be joined by Casey Perry, Teddy Wogan, and our biggest ever giveaway. So make sure you join me tomorrow at five on four. Look after yourselves, have a good night. See you then. Bye. <laughs>